If you're looking for me, I ain't hard to find. No, I'll be right there posted on that five nine. I got a burner in my lap at all times. No, in the bag of sticky icky green lime. If you're looking for me. Alright, got Pete Sprat here, the secret weapon. Uh, so how's Pete doing these days? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. I can't complain. Just training, training hard, trying to get prepared for my fight this Friday. And, uh, you know, I'm having a lot of fun, man. I'm trying to reinvent myself. And I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm going to make the second run for, for the title, whether it be MFC or whoever, whatever organization it is. But, you know, I'm going to have fun doing it. Cool. So, uh, you know, you've been around, done that. You know, you're fighting this fight. Uh, is it just for fun? What, what motivates you to, to fight these days? Well, my motivation these days, man, is to, is to get back to the top. You know, I, was at, I was at the top in 2003 when I beat uh, Robbie Lala. And, uh, you know, that's my goal. My guys seem to think you know, that I still have the ability, I still have the drive to get back to the top. So, you know, right now for me, that's my motivation is getting back to the top and seeing where I can go at, at the later stages of, uh, of my career. And uh, for me, like I told somebody the other day, for me, my record is 1-0 starting the official second half of my career started in June when I won by submission in June. So for me, I'm 1-0 and, oh, and uh, you know, I'm just looking to get better. Awesome. So your next fight, it's uh, in Canada? In Canada for the uh, Maximum Fighting Championships. All right. Stack cards. Got me, Travis Luter, Jason McDonald, uh, Luigi Fivorante, uh, John Alessio, Carlo Prada, Antonio McKee. I mean, the card is it's wow. stacked with a lot of events. And who, who are you fighting? I'm fighting a guy named Nathan Gunn. He's up and coming for my... Uh, from Canada, so you know, we'll see how it cool. It's another another one of those situations, you know, where I'm fighting one of the up and coming guys. He's trying to use my name to to be a stepping stone. So you know, we'll see what happens. I'm excited to get back in there. I'm excited to uh, kind of redeem myself from the last showing that I had at the MFC with the with the whole Ryan Ford debacle and um, you know that whole situation. So I'm looking to you know wipe my slate clean and, and get that bad taste out of my mouth and uh, you know seeing what I can do for the MFC. I watched a video not too long ago uh, where GSP said that you were the hardest kicker he's ever had. So, um, how would one train to, to, to get leg kicks like you? It's practice, man. It's hours and hours and hours of perfecting that same, that one particular technique. And, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time uh, learning how to kick. Uh, my tight trainer, Sex Sounds at Jiro, trained me quite well on how to kick. And, uh, you know, it, it's just been good for me. I mean, it's quite a compliment coming from GSP, but, you know, it ain't nothing I didn't already know anyway. So, it, at the same time, it's not that big of a deal, but everybody makes it a big deal because it was GSP who said it. You know, but everybody everybody in the gym right now can tell you that my left kick is not something that you have to taste. You know, they get to taste that quite a bit here in the gym. So. Yeah, it's nothing new. It's nothing new for the people that know me and the people that are around here. But uh, you know, everybody else makes it a big deal. But it's not not that big. Uh, I gotta say thanks to Full Tilt for jumping on board at the last minute. I've got uh, performance MMA, triple point therapy. I've got Alan CrossFit. Uh, who else? Do I have? Sprawl, of course, for giving me my shorts. Affliction. Uh, I got, I, I got a lot of Toes up, fight gear, BTX fight gear, and I think that's it. Uh, can't forget about head blades. Since I start wearing my hair, hair ball, now I've got head blades as sponsor, so I can't forget them for sure. Great. <laughs> Was there anyone you'd like to give special thanks to? Anybody uh, growing up? No, uh, of course my teammates. Uh, uh, my teammates we got Aaron Russell, you know, fight strike for us. I say that's Martinez, Rodrigo Pinheiro, Diego, uh, Sierra, uh, all the guys here, Rodrigo Pinheiro, Zee Jiu Jitsu. Uh, of course, my manager, Spin Ben, and then uh, also uh, the guy that does all my sponsorships is uh, Oren Hodak, uh, out of Dallas. So, you know, there's quite a few people that, you know, that are behind me. And then, of course, my family, my wife, and my, and my daughter, so, and my stepdaughter. So. If you're looking for me, I ain't hard to find. No, I'll be right there posted on that five nine. Oh, I got a burner in my lap at all times. No, in a bag of sticky icky green lime. Oh, if you're looking for me, I ain't hard to find.